Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the Microvax 2, which is a very popular machine from back in the day. Uh, it was often used as a small office type machine and had a bit of storage, tape drives, things like that. Uh, this particular one, um, it's not at my regular address so I can't power it up to have a look at it but we can at least have a look at the controls and have a look inside. Up the top you've just got the power switch and a 2K50 tape drive. And down behind this door we have the various controls. Restart, run, halt and the right protect and ready controls for the three hard drives that are inside. And this one still has its site management guide. It's where the um, site engineers usually write what they've done in, into the book. It's useful information on the slot layouts when the machine was installed. Looks like it had a problem in 1991 with uh, hard disk error and tape drive problems. So the engineers written here what they've done. Looking at the back now, we've got the break enable switch, uh, speed selection, um, language prompt selection. There's an indicator there. Um, this one looks like it's got a eight port serial card in it and this is a modification that I made to um, do thin wire ethernet. And here we've got model information, uh, power input, circuit breaker and this is a power remote control so that you can control it from a distance. And here's a, this one's a chart where you can map out the back panel that hasn't been filled out in this case. Taking the side cover off, you can get access to the tape drive and the discs and the card cage is behind this door. And I've just noticed that this isn't really a proper Microvax 2, this is a Microvax 2 that I've converted into a, a 3400 because these are DSSI discs, not the, the old traditional MFM drives. Anyway, if you open the card cage, it's the CPU card here. I have moved it into the second slot because the slots in the Microvax 2 are very close together and there's not enough space to get the CPU card into the into the first slot. Uh, there's two memory cards after that. So this is the RQD X3 controller that goes to the discs. And there's a breakout board here that, that connects all the drives to the front. That's not in use at the moment. Uh, this is the TK50 controller, it goes to the tape drive. And this board down here, this longer one, is the eight port serial port in the back. What I've done is I've just taken the 3400 control panel out to the back here and hooked up the console port and the, the Ethernet to a, the panel on the back. There's the RQDX3 disc controller, an FM controller, and this is the DHV11 8 port serial card, and this is a Clearpoint. 16 megabyte memory board. I knew I had some clear point memory, but I didn't know where it was, but so now I know. Down at the bottom of the card cage is a fan, and you can just pull it out in a little tray. And it looks like I've used adapter cables to convert from the 4 pin power to the 5 pin power needed by the DSSI drives. Okay, so that's the card cage back together. We'll just put the cover, the side back on now. Okay, that's it for my Microvax 2 video, with a bit of a surprise that 
inside it's not actually a microvax too all the original cards are in there and the cables and things like that the only thing that's been pulled out of the discs and the cpu and memory cards i should have them somewhere i never throw anything out but uh, I'm not quite sure where they are at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you next time.